Hi everyone, John here for a, another stretch video today. We're going to come down lying flat on our mat in just a moment. As always, we want to make sure that obviously you do have your mat, you've got a bit of clear space around yourself, and maybe a yoga block or a little textbook or a thick hard back book to help support some of your positions today. So, if you've been in any class with myself before, you'll know that quite often I like to start off just with some deep breaths in and out. So lying down on your back, hands can be on your stomach or by your side. We're going to take a really deep breath in, fill those lungs up, hold your breath, and then push all that air back out. So same again, our deep breath in, pause, and exhale. Deep breath in. Pause and exhale. I'm just going to do another two cycles of that. Deep breath. Brief pause. Exhale again. And then last one. Deep breath in. And exhale. Right, so we're going to take our knees in, so nice and tight through our chest, just for a few seconds. And having a little rock from side to side, to get a bit of pressure from the floor. Just almost massaging that mid and lower back just now. And then we're going to steady ourselves. We're going to extend this stretch just now by grabbing hold of the feet. What I like to do, rather than have them in nice and close, we're going to pull the feet out to the sides. So we're showing the sole of our feet up towards the roof. We around about a 90 degree bend at the knee, as well as a stretch down the back of the thigh and in towards our groin. So again, we're trying to pull our feet out and a little bit of pulling down to get a pressure into that stretch. those legs just now. We're just going to bring ourselves so our hips are on the floor, lower backs down down, and knees are going to tip to the right just now. My head and hands are going to go to the left. Just that small twist in the waist, maybe a gentle or subtle stretch around the hip as well as the mid and lower back. back to the center and we're gently going to tip across the opposite side. So head and hands one way and knees gently over to the other.
knees out from there. Just use those knees to rock yourself back up, right? For your next position, I'm going to ask you to have both legs long off in front so you can stretch into the back of your thigh. We're not too worried about the back rounding. As always, I don't want you to pull yourself into your stretch. You're to relax as we go into these. So you've got some options. You can either take that deep breath in and allow yourself to spill forwards, or you can use the hands behind yourself to gently push. Again, not pulling, just gently pushing forwards into your stretch. Whichever option works for you, we're just going to take our deep breath in and then start that stretch. Just trying to keep those knees on the ground. Again, yeah, don't need to pull in and have those knees coming up. We're just going to relax forwards. We're not concerned about rounding that back since we're not loading it with any weight. In that one, we're going to come back out. Just shake those legs off, maybe roll the ankles if they're feeling tight as well. What I'm going to ask you to do just now, we are going to step the right foot over the left leg. For our next stretch, we're going to get into this right hip. So we are going to be bringing our arm around to hug the knee in towards our chest, and then we can rotate ourselves around as much as you'd like. So again, we want that right hip to be feeling our stretch just now. And if it's maybe an uncomfortable position, we just relax around, we take our deep breaths in and deep breaths out again as well. Not here for quite as long as our last position. So we're just in this one for one minute at a time. off from this side nice and easy. We're going to lengthen our right leg, we're going to step the left foot over this time and then we're switching sides. So we're going to twist the opposite way, get a bit of a hug with that knee and on we go.
legs at that stretch as well. So we're going to lengthen our left leg again. The right foot is going to come inside the thigh. We're going to go back to stretching the back of the left leg, back of the thigh again. So for now, we're going to take our deep breath in, lift that chest up, we're going to breathe out, and ease forwards into our stretch, just on one leg at a time then. back up, gently switch across to the other side, again give me one deep breath in, lift that chest up before we begin, and we'll exhale to start our stretch. our chest back up again. We're moving out from that stretch and I ask you to join me on your hands and your knees. From hands and knees just now we are going to let those hips fall back towards our heels. Rather than having the arms straight off and in front we're going to walk our hands off to the side. So just now I'm going to take my hands off to the right until I feel a stretch down the left side of my back. Yourself gently across to the other side. So we're going to walk those hands over to the left until we feel stretched in the right side of our back. Now.
from there. And now we're gonna ask you to just go to wherever you're comfortable sitting. So it can be in that cross leg position, it can be kneeling as I'm doing just now. We're just gonna loosen up some of our uh, muscles around our shoulders just now. So we're gonna start off nice and easy. I'm gonna ask you to do, drag one elbow across for me. So we're hugging it in nice and tight. Rather than staying here, we're gonna look over the shoulder. So I'm stretching my left shoulder, I'm gonna loop to my left. that arm down. It's going to roll the shoulders off a couple of times. Then we're going to switch sides. So again, I'm going to drag my right arm in, hug the elbow nice and tight. And I'm going to look to my right this time. Again, we're going to relax that arm, roll those shoulders off a couple of times with me. We've taken the arm across, now we're going to take it up and over. So I need to go back to that left side and place your left hand just behind your back. And we're going to drag the elbow over again. that arm down, up the rolls of the shoulders again and then we're switching sides, the right hand in the upper back this time, we'll drag the elbow behind the head one around these shoulders. I'm going to ask you to drag your wrist across your body. So we're going to pull that left wrist, we're going to drop our head to the right, and I stretch along the upper back and shoulders. Shaking anything off if we need to, rolling it again if you need to. And we're switching sides, so I'm dragging the right arm this time and dropping my head over to the left to bring that stretch in again. Really nice one if you find that you maybe get a bit tight sitting at the desk all day. Just releasing that upper back, those muscles along to our neck.
the seas out from there. We're going to roll off those shoulders last few times. And that takes us to the end of another stretch session, folks. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next one.